I say yo. Welcome to the BBW show, you feel me? We talk bad rap, basketball, and wrestling on a daily basis. Follow me on Instagram at hoops underscore raps underscore wrestling. Follow me on Twitter at hoops underscore wrestling. The topic for today is basketball. More importantly, Patrick Beverly as an analyst. I'm not going to lie. I'm one of the biggest Chris Paul fans of all time. I've been enjoying watching Patrick Beverly crap on Chris Paul. I'm not going to lie. It's been amusing. It's been very entertaining. Very entertaining. He definitely is... He has a future in this. I'm not going to lie. He has a future in this. He's smoking Stephen A on first take right now. He definitely has a future in it, a future in this. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but see, right about some of the things he said about Chris Paul, no. But Chris Paul, you're not gonna go on ESPN and defend yourself. So it's like, so what? You feel me? He he's home right now, so I don't have a problem with it. But I'm really making this video because I think they can strike gold. You feel me? We got Patrick Beverly as an analyst, part time analyst. We got JJ Reddick as an analyst. And we got Draymond Green as a part-time analyst. They need to be the next inside the NBA. You feel me? I'm not going to say the new inside the NBA because the inside the NBA right now is still smoking. But the next era needs to be Patrick Beverly, Draymond Green, and J.J. Redick. I ain't going to hold you. They all fit into their current roles perfectly right now. Gangster. J.J. Redick is Kenny Smith. Patrick Beverly would be Charles Barkley. And Draymond Green would be Shaq. Gangster. And then you just get a wild figurehead to just sit there. Anybody you want. Taylor Rooks. Anybody. But that would be a dope-ass show. Gangster. Patrick Beverly, J.J. Reddick, and Draymond Green. What? You wouldn't watch that? Come on, man. They would be valid and niggas talking about basketball. I would definitely watch that all day, every day. I'm not going to lie. I feel like ESPN could strike gold with that. Now, obviously, Patrick Beverly can't do it full-time because he's still an active player. Neither can Draymond Green. But I feel like they're not going to be players for that long, bro, respectfully. Draymond Green, I feel like he's not going to play until he's 40 years old. Patrick Beverly either. These niggas are not playing until they're 44 years old. They're not playing until they're 41. So it's like, bro, respectfully, they both probably got like two, three more years at this high level. And then it's like, if y'all want to become a Udonis Haslam ass nigga, y'all can do that. If not, I go right, jump on, drop on TNT, you heard? Jump right on ESPN, get my own TV show. Look, uh-huh, start talking my shit. But they got some good takes, I ain't gonna lie. Patrick Beverly, JJ Reddick, and Draymond Green. Remember, I said it here first, you feel me? Like, comment, share, subscribe, turn on the bell for notifications. I will be back with more. Boom.